that, and I love to do that to them because it puts so much more pressure on them. And you know what? If I was in the crowd and I read a question, I would be shaking like a leaf. I'll admit it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm just a little bit tough there. I'll, I'll come clean. Well, it, you know, it is. It's nerve wracking because. Uh, but you know, the other thing is, like, a lot, you know, people have great intentions in terms of, like, you know, writing their questions and getting it accurate. But you know, we have always have somebody check the questions. Okay. And you know, because people come in and go. Who was the guy that was in that band um, on their first album and he played guitar? And you know, well, yeah, and he played you know, the bass. We need a little more information dude, here. You know, we got to check the facts here. You know, uh, because we, um, we've had a couple of the trunks, you know, this season that are still under protest. And, uh, <laughs> and Eddie's still, you know, I can tell when he's upset because he doesn't go to White Castle for like a week. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you need to have like a metal show uh, equivalent to Roger Goodell. Maybe bring an old metal star to come in and play. You know, whenever there's a question <laughs> like that, they can have a review. Maybe that could be for next season or something. Well, I don't know about that, but I know Florentine was in, involved in dogfighting for a bunch of years. So I'm glad to see he's, he's come back from that and really cleaned his image up. Well, you know, that's a hard road to get back from. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, indeed. We're talking with Don Jamison from VH1 Classics, that metal show. And uh, I was looking on your site here, and uh, you've, you've got a, a CD out uh, that recently got re-released that you and Jim did called Terrorizing Telemarketers. Yeah, you know, we got nothing going on in the daytime. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we, we sit home and we just wait for telemarketers to call, and we record it. And now we have it's five CDs later, and here we are doing this. I mean, we're, we're men in our mid-40s. And we're making a living with prank calls. God bless America, you know. You're giving hope to us in our mid-30s that we know that there's a place to go. <laughs> yeah, if, you have a phone, if, yeah, if you have a phone and no shame, you can make a living in this country. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just asked Richard and Sal from Howard. Oh, yeah, well, no, Richard's a really good oh. friend of mine. And, and uh, I went on tour, tour with his band uh, over the summer, and we had such a good time. But uh, he's one of the kings of pranks, too, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and, and Charred Walls of the Dam. Great, great release. I, I, I dug that album, and Richard's drumming is just intense. You know, we went on the road, uh, me and you know, me and Chard, and I opened all the shows. We did this tour together, and um, I did, you know, I did my comedy in front of them, and it, it was really cool because, all right, I know it's New York. You gotta blow your horn. I get it. All right, sorry, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but yeah, it was cool because you know, one of the things I always wanted to do when I started to get a little little headway as far as the comic was combine music and comedy mm -hmm. and I didn't know if it would actually work but you know I went out on the road with these guys and I would go on after these like super duper heavy you know death metal bands and I would come up and do my comedy and the response was actually really good and it actually got me signed to Metal Blade Records which is Again, that's another one of my proudest moments of my career. I mean, I'm going to do a live disc for Metal Blade Records, so mm -hmm. I'm so psyched about that. So uh, when, when uh, can we expect that uh, to be out then? Uh... It'll actually be out probably right in the, in the spring with uh, the Charred Walls of the Dam CD. So we're actually going to do some mashups together. Me and Richard were talking, like, some of their extra, you know, like, tunes. I'm going to, uh, we're going to put some of my comedy on top of the music. Oh, that sounds excellent. Yeah, which is cool because I, you know, I did one time I did a radio interview and they were playing one of the tracks from Terrorizing Telemarketers, and the, and like they were like, uh, you know, like some guys like play music underneath while they're talking. Well, these guys had like Ride the Lightning playing and they played the phone call and, they, and I thought they turned the music off, <laughs> but they didn't and it sounded so cool under the comedy. <laughs> yeah. I got to do a live CD and like get some music pumping like underneath it some good metal music so yeah we're gonna do a cool thing together man and we'll probably go back out on the road in the summer together charred me and you know just devastate cities oh you guys got to get to minneapolis uh it was close but no cigar this past summer hopefully uh hopefully we we're, we're praying for a twin city stop because we we live up kind of closer to canada but we still like uh, if we like our music good enough we'll take the five five and a half hour drive down to minneapolis to check out a group so we're crossing our fingers well, we all hope so. I mean, we were um, we had a funny thing because we we went to Canada. We did play in Montreal and Toronto, and uh, we got kicked. We went into Canada, and then they kicked us out. And we had to come back to the states, and then we went back to Canada, and then they kicked 
And then when we were we came back, they wouldn't let us in the country. And then we came back in the country, and then they went they kicked us back into Canada. And so I, you know, we were just all over the place. It was crazy, but. You know, hopefully uh, we could make a pit stop there. But, uh, you know, uh, there's great metal fans up that way, so I hope we can. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Uh, before we uh, send you back uh, on your way into the uh, New York night, uh, is there anything else that you would like to talk about that we haven't uh, touched base on? Well, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm really pumped, obviously, about the new season. And if people haven't seen that metal show on Beach One Classic, I really hope they'll check it out. It's um it's bigger and better and longer, like my sideburns. Nice. And uh, I hope people will check it out. And, you know, me and Florentine are really proud that that Terrorizing Telemarket a CD re-released because it's on Steve Vai's label. Oh, very uh, cool. He's got his own record label. Yeah, I mean, it's like, that's, in, like, what I'm saying is, like, all this stuff is so crazy, like, to meet all our idols from our childhood. But, I'm, you know, I'm like, we're signed to Steve Vai's label, and this is the guy who can play anything on the guitar and he's like now or like writing an orchestra piece like a whole album of orchestra and, and then but why would he listen to our childish cd and like it there's no reason but it's, hey it's good we're it's... happy that he does and we're psyched to be in business with the guy and he took us out to dinner and if that's all we ever get out of it that's cool but it really is a funny album and then people can get it on itunes and amazon.com at that spot you know. You know, go out and check it out and support that metal show. And, you know, that's the great thing about the metal audience, man. We're so we're so loyal to one another. And that's the reason now we're going to – we already got picked up for season seven. So um, – and yeah. thanks to you guys, too, for supporting because it's uh, – every little bit counts. Man. Oh, you know, we love the show, man. And it's great news to hear you guys got another renewal. I mean, I, I, this thing I hope lasts for – you know, forget seven. Let's look at 17. Come on. Let's think big here. The last time I looked at 17, Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC walked in the room. Well, yeah, you're you talking should... about seven, 17 seasons. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you haven't, you didn't. Well, you shouldn't have shown up with the balloons and all that stuff and a Miley Cyrus CD. I know she's 18 now, but I mean, come on, buddy. Glenn, I was just there to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wanted to perform a one-man intervention. I wanted yeah. to make this girl change her ways. <laughs> Just because I was naked didn't mean I didn't have the best intentions. Well, hey, man, hippies have been getting away with it for years, man. You go on them communes back in the late 60s, early 70s, you know. That was the way exactly. back then. I mean, I don't know if that's going to fly in uh, present day 2010, but, you know, you, you got to yeah. try. You got to tweak things a bit. Yeah, when you're on, when you're on the basic cable, it doesn't work as well. They don't, <laughs> they, don't, they don't buy what you're up to. But, no, I appreciate it, man. I really do. And I agree, man. I hope we keep doing this because I work with my two best friends. I talk about the only music I ever loved in my life, and I get to be a goofball, and it's just really cool. And again, I, I just can't thank you enough for the support. Yeah, we love you, man. And what's what's Florentine been up to these days? You know, it's funny. Florentine had a kid recently. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, entering yeah. the world of Dadland. What's up with that? Yeah, well, you know, he doesn't use condoms, so this is what <laughs> cheap, cheap bastard. <laughs> but the crazy thing was. Because he's such a nut, he's such a nutbag. He like he asked the doctor just as a goof if he could keep his son. I don't need. I hope if you got to drop me out here, I understand. I'm just not sure what is being for radio. Fire away. But I think I'll keep it. I'm pretty good with this. But he asked he asked the doctor if he could keep the son's foreskin. Mm -hmm. So the doctor said, oh, "Really?" And he goes, "Yeah." And so the doctor put the foreskin, you know, in a in a thing. And gave it to him. And I was like, why did you do that? And he's like, I don't know. I was goofing around. Well, forget but he really, the doctor really put the foreskin in like a little, um, like a little tube. And I, in the last two weeks, he had a summer house in New Jersey. I stayed at his house because I was doing a bunch of gigs at the Jersey Shore. Uh -huh. Well, I wasn't. I was just, I was stalking Snooky, but whatever. Eh, it so, happens. But I, but one night I came home and I was really drunk and I got the munchies and I looked in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that. Some some anyway. people some people bronze baby shoes. Maybe we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. All I'm saying is thank God I'm a vegetarian. Otherwise, that, that foreskin would have been history. <laughs> <laughs> what you know? What a, what a perfect note to end on. That is that's solid rock, baby. That's that's the way we roll. I want to thank Jim. I want to thank uh, Don Jameson. Check out Don. Check out Jim. Check out Eddie on this Saturday.